so welcome back again uh, so we said we will uh, add a delete button to to delete the product so we have uh, we, we added a new column it's called the uh, it's called delete product and uh, here we pass the we, we put a uh, uh, tag so we can pass the 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 URL with the ID of the product we want to delete uh, and uh, we use some bootstrap class to give it some nice nice appearance so this is how we 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 do it we, we send the get request to delete the products and this is uh, basically will be a, this ID will be a path variable so in the in the in the in the controller we will retr retrieve the, the these this uh, where oh, here we will retrieve this ID and we will go to the database and find this product and up and just delete it so this is the principle uh, let's compile and see it. Are you ready? A list of products. So, if we click nothing yet, nothing because we we don't ha we have no mapping for this. No, no request handling for this kind of URL so we go to the to, uh, to the controller so we add this is gonna be a get get mapping get mapping and the the URL gonna be uh, uh, this of products it's gonna be these so I guess these public 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 string string the late product product and what well it's gonna uh, take something that's called a path variable path, path variable which is the ID path variable which is the ID of the products it's gonna be a long ID and uh, what we do here is the excuse me product triple Need the product triple and uh, find by ID by ID this return optional so we need to this return an optional come on get and we assign this to the no we don't have to find simply do a delete delete by ID this one and uh, we return return what we return we redirect to the our list of products so we can see our list so that's it for now let's see if it work properly it's 
just running let's refresh the page and for example let's try this one ah yes it's deleted uh, let's try this iPhone X it's deleted it's deleted you see it's work if we see the the SQL here is select product, let's from products where ID select delete. So it's work. Uh, next time, next time we will add some barn here and uh, we we'll attach them to a form to change the phone or change the change the name or of the products or the description or the price. So we will see how we will implement that in the html see you